Towards the end of the Second World War, the situation in the Pacific had become rather desperate for the Imperial Japanese Army. By 1944, the Japanese military and government were in agreement that the war could not be won, so certain measures needed to be taken to stop an Allied victory at the expense of the Japanese Empire. The Empire had already started using kamikaze aircraft or suicide attacks. Using Japanese aircraft, these attacks had gained an extremely notorious reputation. Because of how desperate the situation was, different methods of kamikaze warfare were being developed by the Japanese High Command. The design of a manned flying rocket was accepted. The design was sent to the Yokosuka Research Facility at the University of Tokyo, and prototypes were developed. From this, the Yokosuka MXY-7 Oka, or Cherry Blossom, was devised. The MXY-7 failed its first 10 trials, and the Mark 11 was the only variant to enter service. The flying bomb was to be launched from a Mitsubishi G4M bomber, and the suicidal pilot would take their journey with the bomber crew. The Oka pilot would then take their place within the small vehicle in the bomb bay, and was locked into place from the outside. Once released, the suicide bomber would pilot his craft towards a target whilst being propelled by rocket power and gravity to ensure top speed. The end result would of course lead to the death of the pilot, and it was hoped that this kind of attack would psychologically affect the American soldiers. The bomb on board that was carried was a 2,600 pound warhead intent on causing extreme damage and destruction. Over 850 of these suicide bombing aircraft were created, and to some extent they were effective. The final approach from the Oka was effective due to the fact it was difficult for a defender to stop the aircraft, mostly because of the fact it gained a high speed of around 400 miles per hour at level flight and 620 miles per hour during a dive. The first two attempts to transport the Oka to a position where it could be dropped using aircraft carriers ended in disaster due to both the Japanese carriers being sunk by US submarines. On the 1st of April 1945, six G4M bombers attacked a US fleet off Okinawa. It is reported that one Oka was thought to have hit a battleship, the West Virginia, causing moderate damage. However, following the war, it was stated that no hits were recorded and that a near miss occurred. The transporter ships the Alpine, Akinar and Tyrrell were also hit by kamikaze aircraft, however it is unclear if these were hit by Okas. Because of this, the US military began to extend their defensive rings of their ships to try to intercept Oka aircraft sooner before the suicide mission could be launched. On the 12th of April 1945, the US fleet was attacked again by nine G4M aircraft. The destroyer, Manat al Abeli, was hit and sank. The Jeffers, a destroyer, destroyed an Oka with AA fire, but the resulting explosion was still so powerful enough that the Jeffers had to withdraw. The destroyer Stanley was then attacked by two Okas. One struck the vessel above the waterline behind the ship's bow, with its charge passing straight through the hull and detonating later underwater, causing a little damage. The other Oka narrowly missed, possibly because its pilot was killed by AA fire and crashed into the sea. The following attacks in April, using Okas, were ineffective. In May 1945, more Oka attacks happened. On the 4th of May 1945, one Oka hit the minesweeper Shea, causing extensive damage to the ship and also some casualties. A week later, the destroyer Hugh W. Hadley had been hit and suffered extensive damage and also flooding, with the vessel damaged beyond repair. These incredible and unbelievable missions of suicide bombing aircraft were later judged after the war to be ineffective, as the US judged the damage caused to be negligible. However, the story of the kamikaze is infamous throughout the Second World War, the Oka really does reinforce the lengths that some members of the Japanese Air Force would go to protect their empire. The Americans nicknamed the aircraft Baka, which translates from Japanese as fool. It's fair to say that the Americans didn't share the same ideas with regards to suicide and dying for your country being the ultimate honour as the Japanese did. Thank you for watching The Untold Past. To support the channel, please subscribe. Thank you again for watching.